Well, thank you. Uh, I'm very happy to have won last night. Um, it was a uh, w really, really tough race uh, for me, uh, for my family. I just want to thank, um, of course, my campaign team, uh, Karen Bailey, uh, especially for everything that she's done. Um, I, and I want to, uh, you know, thank my family um, for everything that they had to endure through this uh, election process. Um, one of the things that my family and my friends and those who voted for me know that in all of my elections, and this is uh, this is now I don't know my sixth election. One, two, three, four, including generals, five, six elections that I've won. I've never once. Um, I've always I never once went on the negative side. I've always stayed on the positive side. And um, this election cycle was very, very difficult for my family. Were there a lot of negative mailers about you, Wayne? Um, more of social media posts, social ads um, that, you know, if there were negative mailers, they didn't show up to my house. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, there, it, it got pretty bad. What so. happened? This, uh, it, it was in the water. This was just a very nasty campaign season. Any ideas? What? So... You know, when when you when you and look it wasn't at, just you. No, no, it wasn't. It it, it, it was you know statewide, nationwide. Um, when 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 the Republicans took control in the state, we knew eventually it was going to go into a eat your own kind of process, and for some reason, rather than standing on your merits and standing on your principles or standing on your 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 policies um it became okay well the only way i can beat this individual is attack them you know whether it's personal whether it's you know uh, mythical um you know there was you know there was a lot of lies that were or stretching of truths um that were put out uh and and for some reason people think that's the only way to get your point across and and you know it's not you know um something that i've ever done and I, I would never do it you know wayne you're kind of a throwback last night uh, a lot of the races were won by the more extreme folks on the right uh you were not you were considered more of a moderate republican uh how do you account for the fact that you survived the more the stronger right-wing primary that the other candidates noticed? I think it goes back to the fact that all of our messaging was on positives. It was on things that we've accomplished. It, it, it did not go against anyone individually. Um, you know, I, I, I'd never, you know, made uh, negative comments to Mike Allers, never made negative comments to Daphne Andrews and never posted anything negative about either one of those. It, we always kept on the positive side. And I think people started to see that towards the end. Um, one of the things that we started noticing through the process was early on in the election cycle, a lot of negative comments on on our ads or on, on uh, social media. Um, as we got within maybe a week, People started coming and defending, and I was, I was truly happy to see people defending against some of the negatives. So I think I, I think that's a hundred percent why myself and Joe Funkhauser won. We we stayed on the positive. Now yeah. the the negatives were they addressing your voting record? Of course, the Joe Funkhauser has no. They were attacks on my family. Your family, okay. When you look at last night, this is in the playbook here. I believe this primary marks the beginning of the end of the Republican majority in West Virginia. It's not going to happen tomorrow nor next election. But I think this is how this swings back in this state to a Democratic Party. And hear me out on this one, Wayne. Tell me if I'm wrong, okay? In the Republican primary right now, and the race showed it last night, it is the race to as far right as you can possibly go and it's going to and and to win you have to continue to top the other person by how far right you can go if that means you've got to make stuff up about the person until you can no longer get away with it that's what you got to do 
And this carries over into a general election slate of candidates who then legislate as far right as they can possibly go. And the majority of the people who vote in a general election are not extremely far right. And most Americans are somewhere in that middle ground. And when you get sick enough of the legislation that is so extremely far right, you get blowback that brings that pendulum back a little bit to the middle and then back to the left. And this is the reason why what was once a Democratic supermajority 30 years ago has become a Republican supermajority now. And we'll swing back the other way because of the overreaction in the primaries to try to get elected. And before you respond, uh, uh, let me add another one to, uh, to Rob. And I, I agree with what Rob's saying. There's going to be another element to this, and that's Republican choosing to close their primary after, after this, this election. So I agree with both of you 100%. And I also feel that it's sitting right in front of us, and that is the reason why the voter turnout was so low. Uh, one of the things that we were doing while we were sitting there watching the numbers come in, we were we were calculating, okay, my, my previous two primaries we've Wayne, received. Wayne, I'll tell you what, save that answer because right. Comcast just threw up a test on our TV screen and your, your answer is too important for us to miss this. So Colin, let's take the 9.30 commercial break a couple minutes early here and we'll come right back out of the break uh, with Wayne Clark. Let's do that. Again, for those of you who did not uh, pay attention when I said it the first time, I'm not pointing out anybody in particular here, Bill. We end at 10 o'clock here uh, this morning on the program. <laughs> I was getting ready to talk for another hour. Uh, yeah, you can. You, that's this many o'clock. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's <laughs> 10, <coughs> 10 o'clock. Uh, Delegate Wayne Clark in studio here with us on the program. Wayne, we were talking about a pendulum swing and uh, perhaps uh, the race to the right being ultimately what brings this state back to the blue in, in the 30 years it took to go from blue to red, it could go back the other way. Well, and where I was going with that is um, we knew a few years ago that eventually we were going to have to get into a process where we start to eat our own or, you know, start pri primarying people who who may not be what what you can call far right enough or, or, or um, and we've seen that over the last, you know, a uh, few years but definitely a lot this year and then look at what it's done it, it, it there's there were so many negative ads there were so many negative posts there were so many attacks um it turned voters away uh we were sitting there probably about eight thirty. we were looking at the numbers the numbers had just updated um but they had not reported any precincts being done and we were doing math we were saying okay well there's you know, on an average, 2,883 votes that are cast uh, in our district o over the last two primaries. You know, the last two primaries have received roughly 1,100-ish, you know, votes, and we're sitting there 533 to 474 to 203. I think that was the other number. Um, and we're like, okay, so it's a race to whoever gets the 800. But then the numbers never changed. They just stayed the same. And then finally, they just reported that all the precincts were in. We're like, wow, there was only 1,200 votes. That's, that's half of what we marketed to. You know, and that's half of half of the registered voters. People are staying away. They're, you know, uh, when I was out door knocking, and, and, and I know people said I wasn't, but when I was out door knocking, a lot of people said, Wayne, I'm going to vote for you. I don't want to put your sign in my yard. I'm afraid of what's going to happen. I mean, that's is is that what we should have in you know Jefferson County? Is that what we should have in America? Is I'm afraid to put a sign of someone I believe or put my belief out because I'm afraid I'm going to get attacked. You know, I, I I'm not sure. Wayne Clark, our guest here on the program, delegate who won his Republican primary last night. Do you have an opponent in the general, Wayne? I do. I do. Um, Usman Anderson, um, he uh, ran for a magistrate a few years ago. Um, there's we, we know really little about him, but we'll begin preparing for that process coming up uh, over the next few months, doing some fundraising and things like that to... Uh, you know, get us prepared for the uh, general election. Wayne, you know, have, do you regret entering politics? Do I regret it? No. Regret it, yeah. No, no. I absolutely love it. I enjoy serving 
people. It's something that I, I, a real quick story. When I was younger, I grew up in Baltimore. Um, we were on welfare. Uh, my dad worked at Bethlehem Steel, um, and we were we took the metro. We took the bus, you know, and a transfer ticket was ten cents. All right, so you would take one bus to one place, and then you buy a transfer ticket to get on another bus to another. It was like seventy-five cents for the first, and then ten cents for each transfer. And um, we had a thing uh, back then. We still had pay phones, so you had the, you know, uh, receiving collect call from, "Hey, I'm walking home." Um, that they knew, but we had a thing that if there was somebody on a bus stop that was more that you felt was more needy of you, then you gave them their your transfer, and you walked home. And that's something my dad instilled in me at a very, very young age. And, and I've, I've lived that way uh, since I moved here uh, in 2003 that I wanted to serve the community, sitting on city council prior to doing that, you know, on the, uh, um, the building commission for the city. I mean, I've served, and, and I enjoy it. I love it. I love being busy. I love being down in Charleston, you know, getting things done. Um, and, and I enjoy developing the relationships that I've developed over the years. Nothing, John? No, <clears throat> I was going to say, <clears throat> excuse me, what gets lost as we get firewalled more and more to the, to the right, and I agree this is the beginning of the pendulum swing, but what gets lost is a spirit of compromise. We're seeing this in Washington right now. So we are, we, we've seen it in the campaigns of some of the folks who have just won. You know, we are not going to do this. It, we, Berkeley County will not do this, which means that the folks elsewhere in the state are not going to give Berkeley County what they want to have. And that means the folks in Berkeley County aren't going to have the things they need. So out two, three election cycles, everything changes. And that's where we, we, we see Berkeley County going places it doesn't want to go. And that'll be farther and farther to the left because we've tried the far right. It's not comfortable. And the pendulum swings the other way. I don't, there's a crisis of imagination among these, these far right folks that it just baffles me. Yeah. Politics um, is about compromise. That's, it is. It's entirely about, you can have your principles and principle compromise is good. And one of the things that we've seen with some of the, the far rights is there is no compromise right and you know the last time i was on we were talking about you know locality pay and 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 me and others keeping track of hey we helped you you help yeah. us that's going to be that that it's now a little bit more difficult mm -hmm. because those who want to compromise lost 